Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Strat 400 with six racers left in the playoffs and the weather cooling down here in the Silver State. It's a great day for a race to see who will punch their ticket to Miami first. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Cruz Ramirez is trying to be the first one to advance to the next round of the playoffs with a late season resurrection. And Jackson Storm still looking for that first win of 2024 with four races to go. In row two, Lightning McQueen in a different look for today since we're at Las Vegas with Jay McPillar, the spring race winner. In row three, hometown racer Master Dragon 4000 trying to avenge his playoff elimination with a race win here at Las Vegas with Daniel Suarez from Monterey, Mexico. In row four, last week's winner Colin Bargain with Phil Tankson. In row five, Ace Jay Hollis and Steve LePage. In row six, Ryan Laney and Brandon Powercar, another hometown racer. In row 7, Bobby Swift and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 8, Chase Race Alive and Cal Weathers. And starting in row 9 are Terry Cargas and Brian Spark. Here's the race format. 14 laps, 21 miles around a 1.5 mile track. And pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is off for the pits. Let's decide who will be the first one to punch their ticket to Homestead Miami first. Here we go. The green flag is in the air and the Strat 400 is underway. Cruz Ramirez already with the lead against the number 95 of Light McQueen and the number 20 of Jackson Storm. Storm trying to charge up to the front since Cruz Ramirez is in the lead and also he is trying to look for that first win of the 2024 season and Cruz Ramirez will lead the first lap of the Strat 400. Jay McPillar also doing a hard charge in the front. Here's a look at the spectator cam and Light McQueen currently dropping the fourth place. He dropped two positions down. Daniel Suarez and Master Dragon 4000 are currently a threat to him right now, unless if he's not fast. And Jay McPillar is an early threat to Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez. And there goes that number 51 Dynaco car leading the first two laps of the Strat 400. The number 51 car could win today. His Nambo last week's winner, Colin Bargain. Mostly in turn 1 and turn 3, you're going to have to let go of the throttle so you'll be able to go fast and you don't even want to overdrive to turns 1 or 3 so you don't hit the wall. And here's a look at Master Dragon 4000, one of the hometown racers. Lightning McQueen trying to make a 3 wide with Jackson Storm and Jane McKellar, but instead they break up. Daniel Suarez is trying to make a pass against the number 95 of Lightning McQueen. This track is pretty bumpy right now and also the weather is affecting these racers right now because during practice and qualifying it was a bit warmer than today. There's an onboard Bobby Swift right now and H.J. Hollis has losing an engine. Caution will wave, a bunch of smoke coming out of the number 68. Wow. H.J. Hollis with two top five finishes. Now that car is junk. Here's a look what just happened. While we're having on board the number 19 of Bobby Swift, the engine's like, I'm out of here. I'm not supporting you. What a shame. They say Hollis has lost a few engines multiple times. Alright, we're about to show it in full speed right here with the aerial coverage. 
no helicopter noises this time. Alright, we're gonna have a non worth Brandon Power car. Here it is. Ooh, Steve LePage and Phil Tankson almost run over the 68, but luckily the caution flag waved. We'll be right back since H.J. Hollis brings up the first caution of the day here at Las Vegas. Welcome back to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Strat 400. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. And as you realize that the pace car is like a sheriff since this is the west coast of the United States of America. And also H.J. Hollis is out of the race since that engine is cooked. It's overheated. He might have a header problem or something else. And as you notice that the 51 Acruz Ramirez has her numbers in pink just because of this month is a breast cancer awareness month. Along with the 10 of Colin Bargain. And Master Dragon 4000 has his dragon pink instead of gray or red. Like his Mobile One paint scheme, it's red. And it's great for his Haas paint scheme that he's racing right now. Here they go through the Nelly's back straightaway. They're about to restart double file like every single race once they turn, turn three. So Jay McPillar will go to the outside and Cruz Ramirez to the inside. Also, we weren't able to do the halfway jam. So you, we couldn't even listen to the cars fly by and listen to the onboard cameras with the racers. Jay McPillar is going to try to sweep both races. And here's an onboard, the Piston Cup pace car. There he goes, heading to up to the pits. All right, we're ready to go back green right here. Jane McPillar and Cruz Ramirez will lead everybody back to the green flag. Here they go through the restart zone, and the green is back in the air. Five laps to go here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Jane McPillar trying to steal another win. Cruz Ramirez trying to go back to back in the in the fall. Cruz Ramirez won the fall race last year. Here at Las Vegas, Jackson Storm trying to pick up his first win of the 2024 season still, and Lightning McQueen trying to break that winless streak drought. Here they go through the front straightaway again with four laps to go this time. Master Dragon 4000 is progressing back there. He's trying to get that playoff revenge since he's been eliminated last week. Jamie McPillar goes low from the inside, trying to pass the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. There goes Master Dragon 4000 going low. Now they go into turn three. Jackson Storm goes away high. He better not overdrive turn three, otherwise you're gonna have some issues. Oh, trouble! Bobby Swift goes to the grass along with the number six above a wheelhouse. He slammed the wall earlier, and the big one strikes behind him. Terry Cargas, Brandon Power Car, and Chase Race a lot, including Brian Spark. There's some damage in the 31. And Chase Racelot currently sitting in turn one. Now he's going back, trying to finish this race. And we're going to have another overtime restart. All right. So Bobby Swift slams the in the outside wall and then goes through the grass with the number six above the wheelhouse. And the six collects the number 24 and the 31. That is just bad. You were supposed to stay low, but instead, I feel like they lost control or a tire went down on them. That was crazy. Alright, here's another view from turn one. It looked like a super speedway big one. There's an armor of Brian Spark. And Brandon Power Car was able to dodge another wreck. I bet he knows this track pretty well. We'll be right back since Chase raced a lot. Terry Cargas, Bo Wheelhouse, and Brian Spark, including Bobby Swift, brings out the second caution of the day. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car since we're able to finish the last three laps of the strap 400 we're gonna about to do a overtime restart so the rules are overtime if the leader gets the white flag the next flag will end the race doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checkered flag and if there's a wreck before the leaders catch the white flag 
we're restarting again so we could do this all day until the officials are like all right we had enough of this we're we're gonna end the race here's an armor of light mcqueen trying to steal another win he stole the win from chicago because he was good that was his last win back in the third of, of july he hoped light mcqueen could get another win and they're about to restart 2x2 two two again, so Bruce Ramirez will go to the inside and Jay McKellar to the outside. The outside has been the huge advantage for everybody today, so hopefully Jay McKellar could sweep both Las Vegas races, so he will sweep the Rusty's 400 and the Strat 400. The pace car is off to the pits. Here we go, overtime restart number one. Here they go, through the restart zone, the green flag is back in the air. Jay McKellar already the great start. As I said that the outside line is better than the inside, let's see if that's true or not. Cruz Ramirez in the lead against the number 4 Jay McKellar. Trying to be the first one to punch their ticket to the round of, no the championship 4, sorry. Cruz Ramirez trying to hold up the number 4, Jay McKellar, but McKellar gets a boost. Here they come through the front straightaway this time. Will they get the white flag? Sale la blanca! Here we go, we entered the final lap. That's what I said. The white flag is out. The next flag will end the race. Doesn't matter if it's a caution or a checker flag. Jay McPillar versus Cruz Ramirez. Jay McPillar trying to go back to back here at Las Vegas. Cruz Ramirez trying to reach the number 4. Now here they come entering turn 4 for the final time, will it be Jay McPillar, Cruz Ramirez? It will be Jay McPillar, goes back to back here at Las Vegas Murder Speedway. Congratulations to Jay McPillar for winning the Strat 400. That race finish was exciting. Feel bad for both of Raider Springs racing cars, which is Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen. What a great race. Here are the official results. Cruz Ramirez is the fastest car of the day. Here are the playoff standings after this race. J.D. McPillar is the first one in the championship four. And Colin Barry and Light McQueen are tied in points. Both Octane game cars of Bobby Swift and Daniel Suarez are below the cough line. So if they don't win or score a top five, they will not compete for a championship. Next week we're racing at Phoenix Raceway for the Bumper Save 500 starting next Friday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific and 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Her 27, signing out.